you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be doing my Weekend League record and my lineup update. So I'm pretty much going to be going over my lineup and going over Weekend League. Some tips, like, you know, like what I did, how I got through this week, and kind of how things played out for me. Kind of like, it's like story time. Weekend League story time. Now, guys, it was it was it wasn't a rough weekend league. Although I did have some difficulties with my timing, which kind of stunted my record a little bit. So, pretty much going into last night, I had 10 wins. So I had to play like 12, 13 games last night. Total, I had like 12 games remaining last night. So I stayed up almost all night. I literally haven't slept really at all. I slept for like two hours. So I'm kind of half asleep right now. So I've been a little dead today, but. That's kind of what I had to do to get my weekly games done. If you haven't already, go down below, smack the sub button. We're so close to 7K. Let's push us over the top today. Turn on the notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And make sure to get this video to 150 likes. Enjoy the video. Pretty much, I was up all night, so played very tired. I played at my girlfriend's house. I couldn't even play in my setup with my monitors. I played in a massive TV. It kind of threw me off. But I still didn't end with the top tier, so that wasn't bad at all. I just didn't repeat top 100. Also, this week was a little, little, I had a few hiccups in the earlier games that I did lose, which was here, actually. I didn't lose much last night. It just did hinder a little bit of how much, I, how well I could play laying down in the bed, you know, not my whole setup, but no excuses. Still plays top, like not top 100, but again, top 100 this year is very hard because it is like, you need like 21 wins, which luckily I got like close to that last week. So I don't think, I think I could repeat my team, obviously. So compared to some of the weekend league teams I saw, my team is not up to par with the top team, but it is definitely a really good team. I just need coins. I'm so low on coins. I don't really like buying packs, so I'm kind of waiting for my weekend league rewards to kind of have give me an idea of how I'm gonna go about this. So this is pretty much the lineup I went in with. I went in with Mahomes at QB, Marcus Allen start running back, and Philip Lindsay. I use these two heavily. I still use Philip Lindsay to this day, although people probably don't believe me when I say I do. Hill, DeAndre, Holt, George Kittle, Lane Johnson, Larry Allen, Jason Kelsey, Bruce Matthews, and Joe Staley. Now, the way I pretty much ran this whole weekend league was inside zone with Marcus Allen counter with Marcus Allen, single back wing dive with Marcus Allen, pitch with Marcus Allen, halfback angle with Marcus Allen, and then occasionally if he was tired, I'd throw with Philip Lindsay. And then as far as what I did with the rest of my offense, it was kind of just Torrey Holt out routes, Torrey Holt post routes, and Torrey Holt drag routes. I really don't use Hopkins or Tyreek Hill much at all, to be honest. I mean, okay, Tyreek Hill has those like flashy plays, like kicker turns and coming out of the slot and getting some like a wide open touchdown. That's really about it for him. Hopkins, I'm not gonna lie, he's too slow now. He was really good at the beginning of the year, but like now he's just, he's, you can just feel the difference in speed on him. Like he can't even break loose on a drag. The linebacker stays with him the whole way. Kind of hurts me. Kittle's been a beast. And let's give an MVP to this weekend league. Marcus Allen, definitely. My line and Kittle was definitely a beast this weekend league. Tyreek Hill wasn't too horrible except for his few fumbles. Now, defensively is what really came up big this weekend league. My defense, my defense is what really, that's just, the, that's the glue of this team. My offense is whatever. Like, I just run the ball. Pretty much this year, with the way this year plays, I'm going to have a, the best running back besides Bo Jackson. Too crazy. But if you guys want Bo, I played him a few times with Sprinter full powered up, and I promise you, it was like I would hold the guy to fourth down four times in the same possession. And then he'd get to fourth down, and he would literally, he play, he would just break it. Like, he, he played some offense where it's like run up the middle, straight into your lineman. And since Bo has bruises and everything, he bounces off people. And eventually one would break for 90 yards. And because he has like 93 speed, maxed out, powered up at sprinter, you're not catching him the second he gets past your linebackers. It's over. So he's even more overpowered than Mark Allen by a long shot in terms of speed. But besides the point, my defense held up very solid considering I don't have really upgraded all the way yet. So Earl Thomas is definitely a liability. I can feel it on the defense. He can't hit hard, which is, which is hard, which is bad because on my left side of the field, I have Gilmore, Earl Thomas. So if a guy comes trucking through there, they get destroyed. My right side of the field though is very good with Ken Houston, Von Miller, and then I have D-Law and even Jalen Ramsey because Jalen Jalen Ramsey plays on the other side for me. He plays. It's weird. So Jalen Ramsey plays on the side with. I was probably normal for you guys, but for me it's weird. He plays with Ken Houston and Von Miller on that side, and they all three of them can hit pretty hard. So I'm fine with them. My right side's weak. I got to get an upgrade to Earl Thomas. I got to upgrade Byron Jones. He's been getting cooked all day. If I could upgrade my defensive tackles, Byron Jones and Earl Thomas, my defense would be so much better than it already is. Shazier, Shazier is a beast. I kill it with him in weekend league. 
If you guys didn't pick Shazier as your team captain, you're doing it all wrong. This card is something, he's different. He is something else. I love this card. Two years back to back, Ryan Shazier is literally the best linebacker in the game. Well, inside linebacker. Outside, Lawrence Taylor and Von Miller are the best things I've ever put together. I got to power up Von Miller with uh, power, um, what's it called, abilities. It'll be even crazier. Von, Lawrence Taylor, like, I'll be like, I'll be literally using my linebacker down the field. And I'll be like, oh, I'm burn, I'm burn. And then Lawrence Taylor is just like squatting up and down on the quarterback. I'm like, how the hell did you get there? Or vice versa, I'm like, oh, Lawrence isn't going to get there. And then Von Miller claps the other guy from the side. It is just unreal what I see these guys do. And then if all else fails, I'm like, oh, neither one made it. D Law is back there. And then if D Law doesn't make it back there, Aaron Donald gets back there. And sometimes Pierce and Harrison get back there. But I do have to upgrade the defensive tackles. Definitely a big improvement that I that I need to make to this team is defensive tackles, cornerback, and free safety. There's really no debate on that one. And for those of you asking, why do I have abilities on Aaron Donald, but I don't have him activated? So I actually didn't even know I had two abilities on him. I thought I had just one. But that's because it's kind of impossible to have him with abilities because I have Lawrence Taylor with abilities, the Marcus Lawrence and Gilmore. And these come with them, so I'd rather use the guys that come with abilities instead of using someone that instead of buying more for Val Miller or using Aaron Donald so for the time being I only use these three in the future when I don't use Gilmore or Lawrence I'll probably activate Donald again but at the, at the moment I don't feel the need to actually use his abilities considering I find it much more useful to have D-Law, Lawrence Taylor and Gilmore than I would when Donald had it although Donald's reach elite was pretty clutch now on the on the offensive side I don't really use x-factors I don't know if you guys realize I literally have two players with it and I don't even use his because I never passed enough to get bazooka so I really only have Marcus Allen. So I, in the near future, I'd like to have more on offense. I want a backup running back with arm bar. And I'm gonna, I want to put him out. If someone knows this, can you comment down below? Can you put abilities on a card and play them out of position? Because if you can, I'd want a running back to put him at fullback with arm bar. Or a fullback with arm bar and put him at tight end. If you guys know, please comment down below because that greatly helped me. Now let's head on over to Weekend League so you guys can see how I finished. I can tell you guys how my, my thing went. So over to Mud Champions. I did get finished with 18 wins, so I did place in the ultimate, or whatever it is, legend. I placed legend with 18 wins, so I did lose, I guess that's seven games, although like I said, beyond tiredness and everything, I, oh, and the last two games, I, by the way, I didn't have this, I forgot to mention. So I had 18 wins with two games remaining, but it was already 9.30 this morning, I was so tired, and I had the two games, and I realized it wouldn't help me. If I got those two wins, I got 20 wins, I still wouldn't make top 100, so I didn't really see it as useful, but I was like, maybe I should just play them just in case. So I got into the 19th game. I was so tired. The, the game starts off competitive. It's 7-7. It's seven, seven. I was like, you know what? I don't feel like playing this. Like, I'm a, I just quit. I didn't want to play this anymore. Because again, it wouldn't help me. Like, for monthly rewards, I, I get that for monthly rewards, it would help me. But if you guys look, monthly to place legend is 45 wins. I have 38 wins already. So I'm going to make top monthly rewards. I was never going to make probably top 100 monthly rewards, but I was definitely going to make legend top 100 rewards. So it doesn't help me monthly wise and it doesn't help me weekly wise. So I was like, why well, play them? Then I second, the last game was left. I was like, let me just hop into it. I'll have fun Marcus Allen. So I jumped into another game. And then that one, I started off again. I ran Marcus Allen like four times in a row. I turned it over. I was like, I don't want to play this. And I quit again. And then I, I laid down for a little bit and I made my first video. But pretty much I did. I technically lost five games in my opinion. Those last two games are kind of just BS. I didn't really play them. So I kind of went, I went like 18 and five. I know those numbers don't add up, but I didn't really play the last two games. Which isn't bad. 18 and 5 is not bad, but I definitely did better last week when I went. I don't remember if I went 20 and 5 or 21 and 4. I, I really couldn't tell you what I went last week, but it did get me top 100. So, not complaining on that one. But as far as this weekend league, it was run heavy for me. Run, run, run heavy. I wish I had Bo Jackson. Whenever I versed Bo Jackson, I was scared. I did stop Bo Jackson. No one with Bo Jackson beat me. But it definitely was, it definitely was more annoying to play because it was kind of like I was versing myself, just running back and forth. And uh, I versed a lot of ebook guys, which was kind of annoying. A lot of guys who came out in one formation, like literally one play the whole game. It had a cover, and they were all one play touchdowns. It was a cover three beater, a cover two beater, a blitz beater. He had every route perfectly set up, and he did the same thing the whole game. And he had like, I think he be he beat me. He had 72 points, and I had like 65 points, something like that. I lost in overtime. He had 72 points. I had 60. I had 600 yards almost with Marcus Allen and seven touchdowns, something like that. I like, guess what I did. I legitimately ran and played. He did one. He had a one play touchdown every time. So I had to like grind out seven, 15 down drives, and he just didn't. That was one of the more frustrating games. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. That's kind of how this weekend league went for me. I will be getting the top, not top 100. I will be getting the legend rewards that I will be opening for you guys. Come, they say I think Thursday, but that wouldn't make sense. Someone told me Thursday. Well, I saw it on Twitter. But Thursday would be weird because that's when weekend league drops. So hopefully Wednesday. Hopefully by Wednesday I can have this on the channel for you guys. So. 
hopefully if all goes well I'll have it on the channel for you guys and you guys can watch it and i can open packs and pull dog crap and then um i could be sad about it but i do need the coins so please give me something good give me bow oh bow's gonna be out of packs right Get out, then we won't even have a new thing yet either. Maybe there'll be signature series I could pull. Guys, that's about it for the video. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to go down below. Smack the like button. Let's get this video to 150 likes. Also, comment down below how you finished in Weekend League and how you felt about Weekend League this week. Make sure to drop a sub. We're this close to 7K. Like, literally, like, like that close. Like, we're, like, right there, like, 40 subs away. So, make sure to smack the sub button. Turn on the notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new video. And that's about it, guys. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next time.